Gregory is 15 years old. The cemetery of Port-au-Prince is his home. Here, he and his friends hustle for money, not by begging or cleaning cars. At night, the streets change. Like cats in the darkness, more and more kids are becoming prostitutes. And the Port-au-Prince cemetery is at the center of their activity. They say the problem of young boys involved in prostitution started with tourists. True, foreigners have come here looking for young boys. But today, Gregory's clients are Haitians, and Haitians with enough money to pay for a hotel room. Gregory says he likes what he does and he'll keep doing it. And there are many similar cases, kids under 18, boys and girls who have sex for money. Boys can make between 15 and 30 Haitian dollars per customer. The girls make less, as Alourde explains. Jean Robert Chéry runs the Popular Education Center and has been working with street kids since 1986. In the beginning, things were easier for him. He worked with occasional delinquents, boys who washed cars on the streets and sometimes stole from one another. But that was it. Today, the center is forced to deal with a far more serious problem, child prostitution. <laughs> Nicole is now 12. She sells her body for only a couple of Haitian dollars. Marie Carmel is 13 years old. Batiman. 
Is still again, going off is still again on side. No, back it else. No, and then I'm sick. Tell Bata, I'm sick. Go to go with that. Pigeon, Simon, Bata, Dr. Yolaine Poultre is a dermatologist who treats young girls at the General Hospital and at the Popular Education Center's clinic. Together with Jean-Robert Chéry, she deals with a large number of child prostitutes. Donc, euh, pour ne pas arrêter, non seulement pas arrêter indifférent, mais il est très difficile de poser la, le problème froidement. In the 1980s, there were just a handful of young girls on the streets of Port-au-Prince. But the military coup of 1991 changed that. Child prostitution took off. Phénomène prostitution des mineurs commencé vraiment, c'est à partir du coup d'État. Et je l'ai dit sans méchanceté, je l'ai dit, Mbadil pour aucune démagogie politique. Vraiment, c'est à partir de là, commencer à structurer des réseaux de prostitution des mineurs et patronner par les adultes. Every night of the week, as the sun sets, Secluded spots in the cemetery become hangouts for child prostitutes. Talking to street kids. That's the motto of workers from the Popular Education Center. They try to place the kids in a recovery program. But every time they save one kid, another appears on the street. Suze has just arrived in Port-au-Prince. She has already joined a group of other girls making money by the cemetery. Street kids often come from violent homes. There are no statistics, but many of the young female prostitutes have been raped by an adult before they take to the streets. Often, it's a family member who rapes them. That's what happened to Fufun. <laughs> Tu parles bleu Non. Qu'est-ce que tu comptes faire ce fait ça Papa Non. Belle-mère Oui. Prostitution often leaves more psychological scars on children than physical ones. But the damage can be physical too. Young women are not ready to have sex with adults, and their bodies can get hurt. <laughs> In his private clinic, Dr. Daniel Henriz receives many street kids referred by the Popular Education Center. C'est évident que pour un petit monde neuf ans qui a un rapport avec un garçon qui finit bien membré, bien formé, c'est évident que ce sont des bagages qui peuvent être avec violence et qui peuvent quitter des, des lésions sur le sexe 
petit monde ça. Donc, il a blessé, il a pu violer le monde, il a crevé, il a saigné. Tout problème ça, il a fait. In many cases, it's hard to determine how a vaginal lesion started because by the time a doctor sees it, it's already seriously infected. Street kids are abused so much, it's difficult to know what caused their specific physical or psychological problems. If you have a physical problem, qu'on subit des lot agression qu'on vient avec Max ou Koyo d'ailleurs qu'on a boumé entre yo bah yo qu'on très très dur yo qu'on recevoir coup non mais la police par exemple bien notre grand monde qui bah au coup et tu me sais toujours qui souvent non état malnutrition donc c'est tout ça qui agit sur nous qui parle qui fait c'est pas des petits monde qui bien vini Child prostitution gets worse every day. The Center for Popular Education has found that these kids often get involved in a prostitution ring. An adult picks them up on the street, offers them a place to live, then forces them to take care of their house during the day and work the streets at night. The children sell their bodies to make money for the people running the ring. <laughs> Marie Carmel, Evelyne and Nicole took us down an alley close to Dr. Aubry Street. We went to Andrea's house. She's the ring leader. She wasn't home. But we found her mother and another girl who told us Andrea works by the cathedral at night. She knew what the girls who hang out by the cemetery were up to. But she said Andrea doesn't make money off other child prostitutes. After several months, we found Andrea. She had left her home and was sleeping on the street by the revenue office. The three girls were gone. She said she knew what the girls did for a living. But she explained she wasn't forcing them to do it. Si mon à l'intérieur chaque groupe chaque réseau où je n'ai pas d'huile qui a dit les timounions Gen un deal qui fait entre enfants et proxénètes, ça nous est des passeurs, mais un réseau, c'est côté où je veux un monde qui ramasse ces là, qui ramasse ces passes-là, et après, soit les distribuer par ça sous forme de pécuniaire avec l'agent, soit les distribuer sous forme matérielle, nous avons un côté pour dormir, ou bien nous avons un plat de manger, mais c'est lui-même. Qui est responsable à ramasser pas ça? Moi-même, bad girl fil. Combien? Deux cas, deux cas, on cinq. Sept. Combien chaque cas rapporte au passoir? Passoir est un coup les gars fait. 
Mais nous devons faire n'importe 25, 30 non là. Pour où bien pour nous-mêmes Pour nous tous oui, nous avons de là-bas. Nous avons de cobla non nous avons de nous avons nous avons de cobla non nous avons de nous avons de nous avons de cobla non nous avons de nous avons de nous avons de nous avons nous avons de nous avons de nous avons nous avons de 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 nous c'est un groupe, pas de gens qui ont 12 ans là-dedans. C'est un petit monde qui était dans l'intégration scolaire. Il était fait à peu près 8 à 9 mois dans l'intégration scolaire. Et puis il vient décrocher. Et le petit monde dit que le travail pour eux autres, la prostitution, qui est dirigée par Sonia, et nous font un rapport, le mois ça, décembre 92, ans, voyez par l'Amnistie International. C'était Genèse qui fait éclater. Et chaque petit monde commençait à aller chercher petit monde. Pour dire, question, mais ça vous payez pour lui. And since the coup, the number of prostitution rings keeps growing. There are lots of Andreas, boys and girls, Haitian and foreign. The cemetery, the airport road, the Carrefour neighborhood, the downtown market, the cathedral. They're all places where prostitutes hang out. Jean-Robert Chéry says people running the prostitution rings should be arrested. But no institution has the legal authority to do this. I'm not a trainer in my justice, because I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a psychologist. No institution wants the responsibility of stopping prostitution rings. As for the children, it's hard for them to break free from a ring. Many think Andrea protects them. But what kind of protection can Andrea offer when she herself is just as vulnerable? <laughs> but if kids think that Andrea can protect them, it's good for business. And she knows that even if the kids run away, they'll always end up coming back to her. <laughs> Some time later, we went to visit a house in the neighborhood of La Saline. Every night, about 14 boys and girls sleep here. A house with nothing in it. They sleep on the dirt, on pieces of cardboard. During the day, the kids take to the streets. They scrounge up money for food, drugs, and rent. Nadine and Fufun, the girls who took us to the house, used to live there, but they have left it to go back and live with Andrea. Altagras day on a Saturday morning. We went back to Andrea and found she still has kids around her. Nearly all the kids we met while producing this report were with her, as were many others. Boulevard Jean-Jacques de Salines, Main Street, a red light district. Haitian and Dominican women work in brothels, hotels, alleys, and laneways. But just because prostitutes work out in the open does not mean that children are not involved.
It's nine o'clock. Chalet d'Or, Tidoc's house, is a brothel on Main Street. Alourde is 15 years old. She leaves Tidoc's house and goes looking for business. Next morning at the Chalet d'Or. Duperrier Désir is Tidoc. He owns the brothel. He says he doesn't let young kids work in his house. It's hard to find out who the clients of these child prostitutes are. When we tried to film on Main Street, the Johns harassed us. But what the kids told us and what we saw is that the Johns are from all social classes. Street kids, students, single and married men, rich and poor. <laughs> Liline says just as men come looking for boys, women come looking for girl prostitutes. Like the children, many of these young prostitutes have been physically abused, especially when the military was running the country. Their lives are hard, but even harder to leave behind. Those who start young often spend a lifetime in prostitution. And prostitution is more dangerous than ever. AIDS is spreading quickly in Haiti. The first group it attacked was young male prostitutes in 1989. Premier cartel de la rue, groupe moun, ti moun ki nan la rue, sida a frappé, 
ce groupe dans le cimetière. C'est-à-dire comment se prendre deux mouns, deux jeunes, c'était Willy avec Sego. Et après ça, il commençait à marcher dans le Plus que le phénomène prostitution a avancé, et Sida a avancé dans tout le cartel. Bernadette is only 15 years old, and already she has AIDS. She sells sex on Main Street, but she says that has nothing to do with catching the virus. But when asked if they use condoms, all the kids say yes. This scene in the cemetery shows that sometimes kids actually do use condoms. <laughs> 